Today, we will learn about an inspiring person named Yuri Kochiyama. Yuri's story is all about building bridges between different races, generations, and nations. Let's get started. Yuri Kochiyama, originally known as Mary Yuriko Nakahara, was born on May 19, 1921 in San Pedro, California. Her parents, Seichi and Tsuyako Nakahara, were Japanese immigrants who came to America in search of a better life. Unlike European immigrants, her parents and other East Asians couldn't become citizens because of unfair laws. But Yuri was a citizen by birthright. As a child, Yuri loved playing sports, reading poetry, volunteering with the Girl Scouts, and going to church. And she didn't know much about racism at that time. After graduating from high school in 1939 and from Compton Junior College in 1941, Yuri started looking for work. But she faced racism when some stores wouldn't let her fill out job applications just because she was Asian. Everything changed on December 7, 1941, when Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. Yuri's community received the news and people started treating her differently because of her Japanese heritage. The FBI came to Yuri's home and took her father away, even though he was sick. Sadly, her father passed away shortly after being released from custody. In 1942, President Roosevelt signed an order that forced Japanese Americans like Yuri and her family to leave their homes and live in concentration camps. They first stayed in smelly horse stalls at a racetrack and later in a camp in Arkansas. After the war, Yuri and her family returned to their home in California. But life wasn't easy because many people still saw Japanese Americans as enemies. In 1946, Yuri moved to New York and married Bill Kochiyama, whom she met in the camp. Yuri became an activist in the 1960s, even though she was a middle-aged homemaker with six children. She fought against discrimination and worked to improve schools and end job discrimination, especially for black people. Yuri's activism grew as she met activists from around the world. She even hosted a meeting between Malcolm X and Hibakusha, survivors of the atomic bomb in Japan. But her time with Malcolm X ended tragically when she witnessed his assassination. During the 1960s, Yuri joined the Revolutionary Action Movement, a black nationalist organization, and fought against the Vietnam War. She also took part in the takeover of the Statue of Liberty to support the release of Puerto Rican political prisoners. Sadly, the life of Yuri Kochiyama came to an end on June 1, 2014, in Berkeley, California. But although she is gone, her legacy will not be forgotten. Thank you for joining us today and learning some amazing facts about Yuri Kochiyama. But wait, there's more to explore. Stick around for our next video, where we'll uncover fascinating facts about Corky Lee on Fresberg Cartoon. Don't miss out on the fun. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more educational content. See you soon.